In this video, we're going to use Faraday's law to solve for the molar mass or the identity of an unknown substance. The problem we'll be working with here is that a student plated an unknown metal, which forms a two plus cation, by applying 10 amps of current for four hours. The student recovered 43.8 grams of solid. What metal did the student recover? So to start, we're gonna write our half reaction. We don't know the identity of the metal. So we're gonna just use the letter M, and it's a two plus ion, so which means it's going to gain two electrons to form the solid metal. So we have a two to one mole ratio. So now we're gonna go about actually solving our problem. Uh, to start, uh, we're gonna put down our 43.8 grams of whatever M is. Now, I want to get grams per mole. So that means that I need one mole of the metal M on the bottom of this uh, next fraction, and I can compare that to electrons. So I'm gonna use up two moles of electrons, oopsies, two moles of electrons for every one mole of metal that I produce. Okay, so at this stage, we now don't really have anything. So we have grams of M times moles of electrons per moles of M. So we really need to get rid of that moles of electrons now. So we're gonna do that by using Faraday's constant. So one mole of electrons carries 96,500 coulombs of charge. So again, a little bit messy still, we have grams of M per moles of M, so that's our molar mass, but that's multiplied by coulombs at this point. So our moles of electrons have canceled. Uh, so we wanna get rid of that coulombs. To do that, we're gonna use our current. So we have 10 coulombs per one second. That's our current. We're getting, we're getting closer. So we have grams of the metal M per moles of the metal M times seconds and those coulombs have canceled. And lastly, we're gonna divide by time. So I'm just gonna put a one on the top of that fraction. Now four hours times 3,600 seconds per hour is 14,400 seconds. And if we look here, we now have grams of the metal M per moles. So when we're trying to identify a metal, molar mass tells us what it is. For the most part, sometimes there can be Couple of options, but we'll see what we get here. So 43.9, oh, time 0.8. My apologies there. 43.8, I'm gonna clean that up a little bit. 43.8 uh, times two, times 96,500, divided by 10, divided by 14,400. And we get, a molar mass of 58.70 grams per mole. Looking at our periodic table, this molar mass is closest to nickel. Since nickel forms a two plus ion, I think it's safe to say that the student recovered the solid metal nickel in her experiment.